All right. The next one is the unliftable body. Now, obviously, if you've got someone who's extremely light and someone who's my size or larger, 240 plus, who exercises often, this is a little bit different. So, but for the intents and purposes, Eric's about a buck seventy, and under normal circumstances, I can pick him up. All right. Now. What I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him think of all of his weight is in the base of his feet. His body is relaxed. His mind is relaxed. I am going to try and pick him up. Now, if he's truly relaxed, I shouldn't be able to. So, <clears throat> point in case. Now, I want him to tense up. I want him to tense everything up, okay? Tense it up, get tough. Oh, wow, I can still pick him up. And I get too loose, too relaxed, just kind of slothful and dead. Same thing. So it has to be a relaxed, focused intent to make it work correctly. And it aligns the body. It puts everything in balance and in structure and it uses the structure of the body in such a way that you can actually actualize and self-actualize a small, minuscule manifestation of what is truly capable of the human body. And these are just neat little tools, tricks, whatever you want to call them, techniques of how the mind actually rules over the body.